that's where I'll be. Greg, come here for a sec, honey. Take these instead. Give me those. Excuse me.
dunk on that mark. What's yeah. going back in? Okay, we can go back in. Neck Spring Fair, and we're at the first booth that you see when you go in the door. And we're here with Stephanie Gould, Marilyn Hoffman. And what is this? Is sort of the entrance area where everybody comes and picks up tickets. Right, right. It's it's tickets for the tickets. games. <laughs> yeah. But these are tickets for the games for kids to go on. So how did the Rye Neck Fair get started? Do you know? Well, she's a good person to ask. She's one of the organizers. <laughs> and she's running away. So you'll have to do it. We, we, the PTSA basically yeah. wanted to sponsor something that would be a good money maker for the school so that the dollars could come back into our education. And this year's Spring Fair is dedicated to technology. So we're hoping it's going to be hugely successful and we're on our way. And how long has Rynek been doing this for? Oh, I'm, I'm going to guess maybe uh, seven, eight years. Yeah, I would say. Close to. Yeah. But this is the biggest the and best we've ever had. Yeah. It is. The most professionally and well-organized fair we've ever had. All right, thank you. We're going to walk around now to every booth okay. to show everybody what's going on. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye. Back, we're here at the Booster Club. Booster, that's us. And your name is? Nat Carolini. And you're the vice president of the Booster Club? And what is the, what exactly, give us a little brief description of the Booster Club. Uh, Booster Club helps to have all activities dealing with sports and academics. We raise money for scholarships. We raise money for the cast parties, uh, after the shows, anything to benefit the children, really. And what are you doing here today, selling this lots of sort of Rynek clothing? Uh, we're famous for Rynek clothing. We sell Rynek t-shirts, sweatshirts, sweatpants, hats, and we're going to be selling at the show where uh, the show t-shirts also with the emblem of the show. So is the Booster Club made up of parents or is it alumni or is it just residents? It's basically parents who attend uh, the school, or the children who attend school. Great. Well that's the Booster Club for you. Doing a good job here. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. We're here at the Dumpy Bouncy thing where all the kids go on and bounce around in this sort of trampoline of fun. Is everybody getting excited to go on this? Yeah! Give a big yell. Yeah! Has anybody ever been on this before? Yeah! So what do you do when you go inside? You jump! jump. That's it? Just jump? Yeah. How high can you go when you jump? Mm, three feet. Three feet? Can you touch? <laughs> That's it? Can you, do you try to touch the moon when you go in? Uh-uh. Yes. yes? Now how long can you go in there for? A long time? An hour? Mm, Fifteen minutes at most. All right, well, let's, everybody, let's get together. And for the camera, let's practice our jumping just before we get in. Ready? <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, everybody. Wraps by Reef. Yep. And what is your name? Jillian. And how, what is a, exactly is a hair wrap? It's, um, well, when you braid a little piece of hair and then you go over it with thread, weaving it around, you tie it at the bottom with a bead or you just tie it. And it stays in until it falls out, a few days, a couple weeks, it depends. Or else people can cut them out. And are you a student here, Rene? Yep. This hair wrap booth is for Reef Rescue Earth's Environmental Future. So it's sponsored by the group. And what does the group do? Um, we do cleanups and we give money to environmental organizations and everything. And um, we basically try to help the environment. We recycle around the school. Great. That's very good. So this is the hair wrap section. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Fingers. Sounds scary. And what's your name? Louis Cataldo. And what, and what is a broken fingers? Did you take somebody's finger and just bend it like that? No. There, it's this. It's like um, a material that you uh, you wrap around the finger with a popsicle stick, uh -huh. and you put it underneath, and you put it on the first 
you make it on the person's finger, right. and you just wrap it around. So it looks like they have a broken finger. Yeah. And what is the what's the blood for? Just for effect? So it looks like you broke a finger. How about can you do? I see like. That's the. That's the face. The, and what is it? What are you, are you a student here at Ryan? Right? Yeah, I'm in uh, sixth grade. Great. And you've been doing broken fingers for a while. Yeah. Is this sponsored by any group? Well, since the seventh and eighth grade couldn't get get anything, mm -hmm. they just made up this booth. Great. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Appreciate it. Try not to break any fingers. <laughs> okay. Nails and tattoos. And this is the tattoo section. So who are you, what are your guys' names? Liz. Kimberly. Kristen. <laughs> Roseanne. And what, what's happening? You're putting tattoos on people? Yeah. yeah. One ticket and you can get any tattoo you want. Um, yep. Sponsoring, you sponsoring the Ryanet PTSA. This is for the PTSA itself? Yeah. And do you have any examples of tattoos? Show me hand. Can we get a shot of this? Oh my God. There's a tattoo on a hand. So I was wondering, guys, I want to get a tattoo on my arm that says it's a skull and crossbones that says Mama's Boy. Can I get that? No. 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 You only have nice tattoos, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Are they going well? Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Good luck. For an hour. So you could say that on TV. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You at the face painting booth, and it's sponsored by the Builders Club at the middle school. And you can come over here and get your face painted in all different fancy styles. So make sure you do. Thank you, guys. Painting, and I'm sorry, but I made a mistake. It's not. It's sponsored by the seventh and eighth grade of the middle school. So they got together, and they're doing all the work behind this, and they're really doing a good job. Now at the balloon animal booth, is that what it's called, I guess? It's Clownetta's booth. Ah. And what is happen and what do you do exactly? I do balloon animals and I, I have a coloring page that I'm giving away to the children as well. Great. Okay, so we're gonna, are you gonna make a new one? That's the coloring page. What do you want wow. to Okay. Maybe we can get a shot of the balloon that she makes for the little boy. Uh, the, the parent for my granddaughter, she's inside, what please. Is, what does he want? What do you want, honey? A bird, a, a monkey, bird. a doggy, a, a mouse, or a flower? A monkey? A bird. Oh, He's yeah. requested the bird, so we're going to see how a bird is made. <laughs> she's very talented. She's doing very good. A good job. <laughs> What is it? Oh, it's my balloon blowing machine. So here it comes. It's going to be a bird. It's going to be a bird, yes. This is a two balloon. I need two balloons to make it. Ah. It's a two balloon trick. <laughs> Hi, Mom. It's a bird, it's a parrot sitting on a perch. Very good. Thank you very much. Sure, we're going to stick around and see a flower. This is a flower. There was a bird before, and now we're going to have the flower. You have to wait online, honey, okay? Come on, Lydia. Come here. Wait online, honey. I have nightmares about balloons. Thank you. The flower is two balloons, too? All 
also to the lungs, yes? This is the flower. This is my son. Don't we look alike? Hi. Yes, except for he doesn't have purple hair. <laughs> okay, there we go. One flower. Wow. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's the balloon fly animal and flower making. Very interesting. This is the whack-a-mole. We have to try to whack moles. So here we go. His little youngster. And they're off. I guess the premise is to whack the heads of the moles as they pop up out of this thing. And that's the whack-a-mole for you. Although, Metropolitan Museum of Arts, Arts and Crafts section. Is that a good way to, did I mess up the name? No. no. And who is everybody here? I'm Cassidy. And I'm Rosanna Ferrante. I'm Carrie Regano. Christy Becker. I saw you guys on TV before. So what is going on in this room? Um, well, the kids are just making arts and crafts, and, and um, over here they're making frames, and they're making Fort necklaces, Fort and they're making little tiles, and over here they're making candles. And over there they're making um, macaroni necklaces, which those are one ticket, mm -hmm. four tickets for the frames, six tickets for the tiles, and six and six tickets for the candle holders. Uh, that sounds good. And who uh, who's, who is... And you guys are from what? You go to the Rhinex schools? Rhinex yeah. Middle School. We're in, this, we're in fifth grade. Is this for? Is this by the fifth grade? Did the fifth grade work on this? Fifth um, grade and sixth grade. Yeah. Great. So you guys have done a lot of work. It looks very good. Thank Did you. you make any sort of things that we could see that you made? Um, well, yeah, I she made, made a couple. Of things. Let's see. Hold it up here. Can you hold it up? Very nice. And these are just, those are all samples. And back there, the kids made um, all picture frames and, and they made them dry over there. Very good. It looks very good. It looks like a lot of fun. So this is the arts and crafts section. You should come on down and check this part out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Double shot basketball on your... Diana Julian. And what is this for? This is for the yearbook at Rhinec High School. Oh, that's great. So everybody, people are coming down and they're taking shots and they win for any prizes or just for their own skill? You can either get a prize ticket or a POG, depending on your score and who wins. Great. Have you had any very good people from the basketball team come down? You said, uh, yeah. not, from, not from the basketball team, but we've had quite a few good little kids. So. so how is the yearbook looking this year? Oh, it's looking very well. It's almost done, so we're very excited. Is there anything different about it this year? Oh, I couldn't tell you. Top no secret. secrets reveal? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. This is for the yearbook. Snow cone booth. Where obviously they're making snow cones. So what is this for? The senior class, uh, Ryan Eck. And who are you guys? We're seniors. Uh, <laughs> wow, so you'd be running the booth, huh? And what is the senior class going to do with the, this is for a trip or for a, for a um, project or something? Who knows? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> President probably, Dan Walsh. It's probably going to be for the, uh, the, the presence of the class at the end of the year. The we to donate the something to the school, right, yeah. so put into that fund. Great, so what sort of flavors do you have today? Um, grape. 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 <laughs> Many flavors. A wide variety. Grape and not so grape. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Right, Take care. So the pick your team roulette sort of wheel, I guess. I don't know what it's called. I think it's a pick your team. Yeah, pick your team. So what is what is this exactly? All right, you put one ticket down on any of the banners in the, on the desk, and we the two lovely ladies will roll a wheel, and if that team comes up, you will win a star ticket, which you can exchange for a prize at somewhere in the building. Great. So who's this? Who sponsors this activity? 
This is this is my second or third volunteer session, so I have to look it up. This this is this is this is 12 to 1, so it must be Mrs. Fadaglary 3JB at Bellows. Ah, wow! So that's the Bellows School. Right. Doing this, it's a good job. So you come down here and you place your stuff on here, and you win more prizes. I think we're gonna have some contestants. Let's see if they hopefully they'll get they'll do well. Okay, so the Yankees have a vote. And the Mets. I have to say the Yankees is a better bet. On the Cardinals. He's doubling the stakes. Two tickets. <laughs> and he's going to place his bets on the Reds. The Angels. So we're looking at the Angels, the St. Louis, and both New York teams. And a lovely lady spin. Slowing down. Come on, winner. Lucky winner. Let's go for a winner. There's the Red Sox. That might be a good bet. The Mets and the Yankees just passed. Let's see. Here comes the Red Sox. Oh, Yankees, Mets. Oh. Ah, no winners. Close, but no cigar. This is a lot of fun. People should come down to this booth. What's called SAD Central. SAD is for Students Against Drunk Driving. Right, that's yeah. right. And you are? We're, I'm Julia Terrell. And you're? Stephanie DeCurie. And you're the president of SAD? I'm the vice president. I'm president. Great. So what, what sort of booths do you have here today? Um, this is her booth. You want to? This is the um, striker, and basically you have three tries at it, and you have to um, hit it with the mallet and get it to the top so it dings. Has anybody done it? Yeah, actually, a couple of people have succeeded. Pretty good. And what's your booth? Um, my booth is the bowling booth, and you have to get it over the hill. And uh, it's kind of hard because if you don't push hard enough, it won't go over the first hill. Mm -hmm. And if you push it too hard, it might come back. But if you get it, um, the noise goes off, and you won. And a lot of people have been successful at it. So what is what is SAD doing? Uh, tell us some of the activities, some stuff that you're doing. Um, um, well, we're doing a lot of fundraisers, and um, we have a lot of guest speakers that come in and talk to the kids about um, the effects of, you know, alcohol and things like that. So there's a lot of things going on. It's very busy. Great. That's a great program. It looks like you got some fun stuff here today. We're going to get some shots of it. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe we'll see some people win. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, you're welcome. Lots of booths, lots of booths. <laughs> what? Oh, let's see this. Going back Sunday. This Sunday? Yeah. Well, no, next Sunday after. Oh, then you come yeah. to the show. Yeah, I'll probably okay. I'll come back. Is Denise still at the school? Yeah. Okay, sweetie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi. I mean, her spring break. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Can we get an interview? Um, sure, with her. <laughs> you can plug the upcoming. What are you, are you doing? Anything here, or is this just for the music? Are you selling tickets? Let's. Do you want to talk about the musical a little bit? Okay. Are you recording there? We're recording. We're recording already. Okay, but that's all right. 
Okay, we're here at the, we're going to talk about the Rhineck High School Musical, which is Meet Me in St. Louis this year. Uh, and your name is? Joyce Pizzola. So how is the, uh, is little baby coming in? She wants to see the show too. So what are you doing today? You're selling tickets for it? That's right. We're almost sold out, but there are a few seats still available, and I'm here today to uh, enable people to get that last minute purchase in. And, and just for those viewers who maybe are a little tardy and weren't here today, what, what are the dates and ways they can get tickets after today? Okay. The dates are next Friday and Saturday, March 22nd and 23rd, and tickets are on sale and will be on sale on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evening. And if there are any tickets left over, they will be sold at the door that night. And of course, we have our Senior Citizens Gold Card. So uh, rates also so as my <laughs> could you pan to her please she's my assistant <laughs> she's dancing around in the back so can you tell us a little, give us a little bit of what meet me in st louis is about or st louis isn't it st. oh louis? it's a classic is it meet me in st louis louis exactly and listen did you want to try out really? no I definitely not oh. <laughs> not no, with that voice it's a it's a classic meet me in st louis which uh, the movie version of it starred judy garland as you know and it's a period piece the kids are in costume it's a wonderful learning experience and it's a terrific show and it's directed by our own very best mr mark dimaggio great so that's march 22nd and 23rd 7 30 p.m Correct. high school auditorium and yes. it's not too late to get tickets no but I, come out soon Really. But hurry up because they're going fast. That's right, they are. Thank you very much. Well, thank Back you. Back again. Now I'm in the silent auction room, which is a room full of great, wonderful things uh, that you can bid on and, and win. This is what's called a silent auction. Most of you are probably familiar with that. You put a price down, and whoever was the highest at the end of the day wins. And I see some wonderful stuff like a trip to Conan O'Brien's show, uh, tickets to Victor Victoria. Uh, all sorts of stuff. I believe there's also a DJ here. He's signing autographs. Uh, there's internet stuff. There's hats. There's clothes. There's games. There's everything here. Uh, so if you missed it, you missed a chance of winning some good prizes, uh, all of which is going to help Ryan Eck High School. We're here at the what's called the ZD Smash, something I've never seen before. And your name is? Laura Holbrook. And what is the ZD Smash exactly? Well, um, there's lots of little pieces of paper put very carefully into ZD by the students of Mrs. Katz's class. And if you get an X like this, you get a star ticket. So you come over and you smash the ZD, and if you get the X, you get stars. That's right. No, he got four. I know, he did a great job. He got four, four tickets. Wow. Pretty good. So this is all done by one class? All done one, by one class. We're not sure what they were supposed to be doing when they did this, but they did this instead. So. Can I take a picture of one? Absolutely. Let's see. I want to show this because this is really great. Oh, sure. I'll smash one. Can you see this? Can we get a shot of this? I'm going to get the smash the ZD. This is a very original idea. Okay, so I'm going to smash... For kids, this must be wonderful. Oh, yeah. Great for aggression. <laughs> or for frustrated parents. No, I didn't get any X's here. So see how there's all X's on these, so people win prizes. They get a ticket, and then at the, when they're ready to leave, they can turn them in at the booth, I guess it's up front, and they get prizes for the tickets. That's great. That's wonderful. Well, I don't need my tickets, because if you can give them to somebody else. Okay. Thank you very much. We appreciate Thank it. Thank it's you. called the Museum of Natural History Dinosaur Dig. Now, can you tell us a little bit of what that is? Yes, if you give us one ticket, you can dig in the sand and find a dinosaur egg and keep the prize that's inside. Wow, so the prize is usually star tickets? We have some star tickets, which can be used at any booth. At any booth. And is there a certain class that's behind this or responsible for this? This is the Rhineck Teachers Association. Ah. It's even better than a class. It's the teachers. Okay, we're gonna look a look in here and see how you dig. Thanks a lot. Okay. Let's look right in here. This here is the the dig right here, the actual digging park. Can we get a shot of that? They're digging for dinosaur eggs. There's a big thing of sand, and the eggs are hidden underground. So they scoop them up and they win, and they get the prize that's in it. So that's how it works. Looks like a lot of fun, like playing in a little sandbox. Let me just sneak these over here. I'm sorry. I told you. Get an egg. Get an egg and then you can keep what you like. Oh, everyone's a prize winner. Look at you. A star and a 
fortune. Lucky you. You save up those stars and get fabulous prizes at the end. Freddie, what did you want to do? One ticket, you can get one in. Uh, school fair and we're here at the comic booth and what is this booth about? Uh, this is a uh, this booth showcases the Rana 7. It's a new comic book that came out this December and uh, our second book is in the stores right now and uh, it's a comic book about seven poison dart frogs. Uh, it's a science fiction fantasy uh, story and uh, tells the adventures of these seven poison dart frogs and uh, uh, and we're here at the show just promoting the book, giving out free comic books to the kids and signing autographs and things. So it's going very well, and uh, the kids are really excited about it. And you, am I correct, you wrote this book? Yeah, I wrote it and created it. This is Obi Hondru, who draws the comic book. He's the artist. And, uh, What should they say? <laughs> you have to say anything. This is New York Knicks basketball for Miss Benefino's class in fourth grade. And uh, who and what grade is this made from? Fourth. And everybody did just decided to make this booth for the fair. <laughs> we don't know. We just found out about it. <laughs> and what the booth is? What is it? What do you do at the booth? You have to try and get baskets. <laughs> How many tries you get? I think three. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So, uh, Have you seen Mrs. Bottiglary? All right, all right. Have you seen Mrs. Bottiglary? No, I see. For the kindergarten, Mrs. Blaney's booth, and it reflects the beautiful harbor that we have here in the Marinex. Okay, I think Roseanne is about to. And who sponsors the booth? Who sponsors the booth? All the uh, parents and uh, hello, hello. children of the kindergarten class are sponsoring this booth. We all hello. All right, very good. Try one. Thank you. No, keep the fish in. Hello. Uh, this is by Class 3 AC in third grade Epi Bellows, and it's for the Rhinex uh, Spring Fair. And what is the goal of it again? To get the frog into the bucket. That's it. Thank you. Thanks. Go ahead. Go ahead. Shoot. Go ahead. Go ahead. Leave it. Leave it. Go. Sponsored by SEPTA, Special Ed Parent Teacher Association. 
Are people making their own sand art decorations? They are. We are very busy, as you can see. We have sand art and goldfish in here. And the children are having a good time. What, what color? Blue? Blue? Here we go. There's blue. I'm Laura Del Savio, the faculty advisor for the AFS Club, along with Mara Marsis, who's not here right now. And this is Gita, and I'm a member of the AFS Club. The AFS Club is an organization which is uh, designed to sponsor exchanges with other schools, and so we're trying to raise money so that we can afford to do these exchanges next year. And we also go on ski trips throughout the year and other uh, various events with other schools that we hope to do after we raise more money. Okay, and the booth is going to help us raise the money. And, and what's the goal of the booth? It's to help the kids have fun and then help us raise money. And what do the kids have to do? They have to use the ice cream cones and they have to get it through the holes in the board. <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Barito. What did you make? Would you, you make a plan? What you make? You put a seed for the plan, mean? Botanical garden. Botanical so garden. You're gonna have a nice plan in the house after that. How about you, Josephine? You're gonna take care of that plan? Yes. Yes? Good job. <laughs> The idea here is if you get it in the back bucket, you get two tickets, and the front bucket's one ticket, and you've got to do it while they're moving, so let it rip. Okay. Nope. Who's going to try? All right, got one in. We're going to go for the top one. All right. And we also have mountain bike here. If anyone wants to actually try out a mountain bike, you try it out. Uh, so you want to jump up there and show them how it works? Show them how it works. bike there. So whatever tension he wants is the way he's going to shift. Who's the sponsor by? This is the uh, Mountain Bike Club.
Recycling build a thon. And so what they have to do is they have they have two minutes, they have to build the highest thing that they can. The end of two minutes, the higher tower wins a star ticket so they can get a prize. The other person gets a couple pogs, so that's not so bad. And this is for Kate Fish's third grade class. And when we're done, we're gonna recycle the cans for the recycling committee and so they can generate a little money. And that's it. Nine, four, three. Turns with your token, and you just try to throw it and get it on the star as close as you can, and you try to win uh, tickets to get prizes. That's basically it. Pretty good. Yeah. Who's this? Who's group class did this? Mrs. O'Shea, first grade. Right? Your class? Yeah. This is my son, Eli. Are you having fun with it? Yeah. You learning a lot of New York City subways? Yeah. Good. Okay. Class 2NK. And what is the goal of this? This is the Effie Bellows Bank of New York. And the goal is to get pennies into the dishes. Good, good. Finished? Okay, yeah. Okay, she got five days. Here's the action. Okay, we have to take no pictures. Anybody else? Don't look at a couple pictures. I don't need to. Oh, I'm gonna go arrest them. Right. Yeah, Brian Mazarin. My deputy is going to go get him right now. Rajkata, go. Hi, how about this? It's like cops, and you gotta follow me around? And you see me bust them? Come on, let's go. Bad boy, bad boy. What are you going to do? This is Mr. Hook. What's the first name? Peter. Peter, sorry. Peter, Peter Hook. Brian Mazza, eight. Whoops. Hi. Well, we're putting people in jail. Students get to pay one ticket. All right, Peter, we'll have our deputies put on the case right away. And then they get to put a person in jail for up to five minutes. The person going into jail, like this Brian Mazza character right here, can go to jail for five minutes, or they can pay to get out of jail with two tickets. Okay. So lots of students are interested in putting their friends in jail. I am now. So Jailbird is Jailbird. Jailbird. Okay. Grade five. And this is Lauren. Jane. Okay, our deputies will be right on that. Who's back in this booth? Me. <laughs> Miss Lichtenstein's person. Oh, sorry, you're not in line. Lori? We're in charge of this, right? Yes, I'm in charge. Who's this, what is this booth? Who's this sponsored by? Uh, this is the Middle School Student Senate. 
and we're sponsoring a jail and you can pay a ticket <laughs> and you can throw your friends, your teachers, your relatives, mom, dad in jail and we have sheriffs, the student senators who will go out and will arrest them and bring them in jail and they have a choice, they can do their time for five minutes or they can pay two tickets and they get out. I think it is, it's very successful. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello ladies and gentlemen, today is March 16th, the day before St. Patty's Day, and right now we're here at the Rhinex Spring Fair, uh, sort of a potpourri of spring activities, booths, uh, magician shows, Rhinex paraphernalia, different groups, prizes, games, all sorts of stuff. We're in, right now we're in the high school, all the high school's been set up with different booths. Uh, if you, if what this scenario is, is you walk through the halls and you just see different things. Uh, you can take time out to go see a performance. You can take time out to uh, do some arts and crafts. Or you can just walk around all day and just visit the different booths. So right now you can see in the back, let me get a shot right there. That's the uh, entrance of the fair. You can see sort of way down the hall, if we tilt down there a little bit, all the people coming in. Lots and lots of people. Uh, so what I have here is I have the the journal for this thing. There's going to be a silent auction, so they put out this journal. But it also has some of the other stuff that's here. Uh, I'm just going to list off a couple of the booths and games that are here. Uh, the Bell, each school at Rhinec, the Bell School, Middle School, and the High School, is all sponsoring different sorts of booths. Uh, so just for example, for the Bell School, there's a Long Island Sound fishing booth, parking at Governor Mansions, uh, Cooperstown Baseball Toss, Big Apple Race for Time, The Salad Bar, The New York Bowling, New York City Subway Token Toss, Grants Tomb, New York Lego Champions, Catsills Whack-A-Mole, I'm only halfway down the list here. Uh, middle School is doing the Metropolitan Museum of Arts and Crafts Room, New York Style Tattoos, Face Painting, Nails, Rikers Island Jail, I don't know what that is, maybe I'll have to send a camera down there. I know our camera guy, maybe he should go to the Rikers Island Jail thing, right Chris? He says yes. The high school is doing the Twin Towers demolition, Bubbles in Central Park, Empire State Mega Pie Throwing Event, featuring three Rhinec faculty members. It sounds like a lot of fun. The high school clubs are doing more. The SAD is doing something. That's Students Against Drunk Driving. Uh, Rhinec Panthers Double Shop Basketball. Uh, Cotton Candy, Liberty Popcorn. Fulton Fish Market is here. The Harbor Island Beach Sand Art is here. Museum of Natural History Dinosaur Dig is here. Japanese Gift Shop. That's just a little bit of some of the booths that are here. Now we're going on to the entertainment. You see that, I mean, if you come down here, you're going to enjoy yourself. That's, that's without a doubt. Entertainment, in the main entertainment center. There's the main, and this is two entertainment centers. Let's say we have Be a Clown, the light in the antics of Clownetta and her balloon artistry. Uh, then they have some third graders performing songs from the from musical Gypsy. Uh, the magic of Joe Scalone at 12 o'clock. Hip hop to the beat of the junior dance company of Off Center Dance Theater. Karate techniques. Uh, West country western line dances and free country line dances for everybody. Uh, everybody can be involved in it. And also appearing is the, uh, let's see, characters done. You can be with Smokey the Bear. You can have your picture taken with Smokey the Bear. Uh, balloon animals, all sorts of stuff. So as you see, this is, this is nothing but a lot of fun. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to send cameras out throughout the day try to get an idea of what's to show you some of the events that are going on here. Yeah, you could be interviewed. Sure. 
Oh, uh, yeah, we're here at the Rhinex School Fair. I'm Chris Roy. I'm here with uh, a couple people at the fair. And there's a lot of cool stuff around here. And if you weren't here, well, uh, you missed a great idea. I'm here with, uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Mr. Bartow and my son, Brian. And Jim. Hello. So what do you think of the fair so far, guys? Yeah. Really Nothing. good. Really? Is it good? Brian, did you, get the, did you make the longest hole in one so far this morning? Yes. Yeah? You guys made a hole in one. What booth is that? I don't know. So that was the Manhattan golfing booth. Yeah. Oh. Is that correct? No. And are you trying to put that t-shirt on? No. Yeah? Jeffrey, you have your t-shirt on? Yeah. All right. What's next up? Uh, I don't know. We're going to go check out the fire truck? No. Uh, all right. There's fire trucks here, guys? No. Yeah. Uh, all right. Out, out there. Yeah, out there. Out there. Okay. I think you guys are uh, not, not in a talkative mood this morning. It's time to go. All right. Catch you later. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you, you just heard it. There's a hole in, there's a golfing booth, Manhattan golfing booth. They have a fire truck out there. I guess it's the Mariner Fire Department who's out there. I'm not sure, but uh, hopefully we'll have that on tape for you. And uh, we're just here hanging out in the halls of the uh, Spring Fair. And this year it's inside. And we're here. We have our LMC Online booth here. We have LMC on, our LMC Online booth here. And uh, if you don't know about LMC Online, uh, drop by the studio, either Studio, Studio 2, at the, uh, located in the building of the Elmwood Theater, or you can drop by the Palmer Studio, which is across uh, the street from Walter's Hot Dogs and at Maronick High School on MHS. And uh, uh, you're watching LMC TV. And uh, we got people walking around, and uh, we'll be back. Uh, we're here uh, at the Rhineck high, high School at the Rhineck School Fair, and uh, what's your name, guys? Oswald Smith. Janelle Smith. Carousel Smith. Do you guys go to uh, Rhineck and Bellows, right? Yeah. yeah. All of you? Yeah. But not her. She goes to nursery. I don't. She goes to nursery school. That's I nice. Go, I don't go to Bellows either. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what kind of bo what booths do you guys like? What booths do you guys like? Booths? We, game? We've, we've, we haven't had a chance to really look around yet. So. Oh, so you guys just got in? Well, uh, have fun. It's a great fair. And uh, thank you. Yep, we'll see you later. Bye. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Look over here. Look Yeah, do that again. Look over here again, Moon. Now look back. Who's that? And Mike's here. You want to do TV too? Can we do that? Everybody look at the camera. Look at the camera, guys. Wait, look at the camera and smile. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Look at the camera, guys. Look at the camera. Yeah. They'll Haley, stop. The Haley, look here. Right, Haley, look, look here. here. Look, look here. Look here. Come on there. Look here. Look at my hand. Okay. Okay. Now look. Now look at the TV. <laughs> there you all are. Mike, what are you doing? Wow. Thank you. That's great. Freeze frame. You can see it on LMC TV. You watch yourself on TV. LMC TV. Did you get disconnected again on that? Yeah. Maybe the phone has a disconnect after four minutes. Okay, kids, let's go for a minute. Did you like that? Did you like that? Here's the information. Thank you. 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 Thank Yeah. I saw you in the play the other day. Yeah. Which is that, right? 
Here, make a funny face, guys. Now watch this, look at the camera and wave. Now look over here. Look into the camera. Now look back over there. You guys can watch yourself on TV now. Oh. On channel 14. Come on, Lena. Want us to do a little song and dance? Yeah, do a rock and roll song. Ah, oh, come on. You can do it. Yeah, That was an interesting song. Thank you. <laughs> I know you want her cup. <laughs> what did you get? You say it, you mean it. You press pause? You go into internet Marco, that little kid. Oh. Oh. 
know any songs and dances? You don't want to sing a song? You know, no. any, you know a joke? No. Tell a joke? No. All right, tell that joke. Here. Okay, we're going to have to take a short little break because uh, we have to go out for a fire drill. Bye. <laughs> We're back inside now. What you just saw was some shots of uh, everybody outside during the fire drill, which is all safe and sound now. So we're back inside at the fair. Enjoy. Yeah, wait, wait, no. 
You got money. I will win what I want. I want to win. You will not see. I mean, we can limit it in such a way that you can only buy. Don't take it. Oh, oh God, oh God. <laughs> Watch. Take it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, we do that on uh, uh, school, you know, uh, media stuff. We transmit the video to the Macintosh, you know, we freeze it and we print it out. Oh. Yes. We must be. Oh. Hey, what's that? Put your hair swinging in the breeze. <laughs> Hey, can you make pictures on this? Is that what you do? Yeah, we have a lot of the technology. If we had the printer, yeah. That's great. There's a printer. Only if we get a printer. We got stuff from cable and stuff. <laughs>